Hello and welcome back to Deutschland. Right, we are here with episode 5, the final episode of Deutschland week 2, uh, and then the schedule will, will return rather to normal next week. Uh, right, as we're driving down here, there's a couple of things we want to see, so let's just post up here for just a moment. So the buckwheat is still not ready, but it will be ready in the next month, although part of me is tempted to try and forage it into chaff, but um, I also I think it would be better off uh, harvesting it and hopefully getting some straw from it. We shall see. I'm taking the chance there. Uh, the grass field up there, I think, on the hill is ready to harvest as well. So I think we might do that. And here is our spelt. It is coming in very nicely. Uh, as you can see, it does still require some nitrogen. So we're going to spread some fertilizer on this field. And we're going to spread fertilizer also onto our mustard field, which is just up the way here. Another very unfortunate point with the buckwheat is that it is very, very weedy. Full of weeds, and that is very unfortunate. However, we don't have a sprayer, and I've just decided to leave it as is. It's not going to be a very good yield, but our mustard will. Look at how lovely our mustard is looking already. Very, very nice. Uh, two problems with the field, though. One is that nitrogen is terrible, so we are going to be spreading fertilizer in here as well. Luckily, we can use our wheeled spreader for both of these fields because they are still fairly fresh. Uh, another thing we need to do is deal with the weeds. As you can see, weed, medium, and it requires a hoe. I have found on the Mod Hub a pack of weeders that are not very, very expensive. And it is nice to have an actual hoe that is not 50,000 pounds, or 50,000 euros in this case. So we are going to head down to the shop and pick one of those up. Uh, also, just out of our left here, you can't really see it, so I will show you from this perspective. This field is ready to be cut, so that will be our silage, and I'm very excited to get that done as well. So we'll head down to the shop, purchase a hoe, and then get a helper on it, and then we'll get some mowing done. And welcome to the shop. The lovely, lovely shop. Okay, so let's get lined up, because a hoe should appear right there as soon as we purchase it. We are going to see if there's anything in the sale, and there is, but nothing we can use. I think that's a drill. Yes. Okay, let's go to uh, weeders. So, okay, so this is a weeder. Only the first level of weeding this works with. Most of these are weeders, but this is a hoe. Hoes pull out small and medium. So I imagine we could use a hoe for both levels of weeding, uh, whereas this one, only a weeder. So, uh, and I mean, the other one is this one, 100,000 pounds. Far too expensive. I have found a Pottinger Roto Care pack on Mod Hub. Very nice to see. We have three different sizes and they go very quick. I'm going to opt for the smallest one because I don't think we really need anything bigger. Eventually, maybe we can upgrade to this, but I just I can't see us needing it, especially since we can just throw a helper on and it's fine and it's done. But at least we are going to buy this outright. I was thinking about this one. But for the extra £9,000, it just doesn't seem... Is it worth it? For that speed as well, I don't know. Nah, we'll go for this one. Yeah, we don't need... It might not even bloody work. I do hope it does work as an actual hoe. Um, but yes, also the horsepower is very nice. It's very easy to work with. And like I say, we can just uh, stick it in a field with a helper and happy days. Right, let's get reversed up here. We also need to invest in a pressure washer. As you can see, the uh, tract here is very, very filthy. Very dirty indeed. Nice, there we go. So let's get that hooked on, and is there a PTO as well? There is not. Oh, oh wow. All these things are going, and we can lift it up. Oh, it doesn't seem too heavy, does that? Ah, should be really good. Yeah, I think this will be a really good uh, bit of kit as well. Pottinger as well, so it's very nice fitting for the map. Uh, now we'll head back to the field and we'll get a helper started on the hoeing. Right, here we are in the mustard field. So we'll get the 
Ho! Lower down or unfold it first, I suppose. Now, I kind of just want to try a bit myself to see. So let's have a look at the map and see is this part showing weeds? Oh, one more. Nope, two more. There we go. That very corner there is showing not not weeds. Well, uh, weeds, but not uh, oh, large for herbicide. Oh, that must be over here. Yeah, this field's just in shambles. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to look at it. Nothing against the uh, field itself, but yeah, just yeah. I like to maintain my field, so when you get one that's fully unmaintained, it's a bit frustrating. But anyways, let's see if that's hoeing or not. Yes, we are in the hoe business. Yes, never mind. Uh, let's get this started. So let's get a course created. I'm going to say uh, six meters, so maybe three headlands. Yes, because I find that this corner, it makes it very difficult. I should almost start on this corner maybe, but yeah, so let's just do that. Let's start the job there, because uh, I found that they were just basically uh, cr crashing into things, really. Simple as that. There we go. So we'll allow that to crack on. Oh, now I need to run up to the farm. So, yeah, we have that field over there that needs to be cut, and that really is our next job. Because, unfortunately, we can't harvest this until next month. So that will be probably in the next... Possibly in the next episode, depends on how quickly all this uh, mowing goes. Luckily, we don't have to TED or uh, row, which is really nice. The mower that we have allows us to mow and row in one, which is brilliant. This says ready to go, so there's a very small chance. Ah, with all the pH and nitrogen I've put on it, I kind of want to wait for it to become fully ready to uh, to harvest before we go and cut it. And if I do that, I probably won't... I'll pr okay, here's my plan. I, I kind of want to cut it today so that it's on the same sort of level as the other one. I really want it... Oh, I love these hedges. They're just so various in color and... Oh, they're just lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the, uh, take a moment to really take in all the autumnal beauty. This is a stunning... Let's just take a moment here. How beautiful is that? Just everything is... I'm really, really excited about this series to the point where I almost want to do Deutschland Week every week. But no, let's not get too crazy about it. Okay. But I am crazy about this map. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I love that all of this uh, simple I see and sort of realism and not tabbing to vehicles and it's just very good. I almost feel as though... I don't know if this will be like a, an official vote that I put out or anything, or a, a question. I would like to know, but just leave your comments. Do you want to see this kind of gameplay more often? So, by that... Oh, bloody hell, I meant to open that. There we go. By that, I mean using Simple IC as often as possible. Um, using, you know, not really... I mean, I don't know. I'm just curious your thoughts. Do you think I should keep this for the one sort of series? Or is this something I should do more often? Because I really would... Oh, right, I jumped out. I keep forgetting. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Because I, I quite like it, to be honest. It's, it's interesting. Because it is different. You know? It, it's Maybe that's why it's so good now. Is because it is something a bit different than what I normally do. But anyways, let us go to the field. Write a small wage payment. At least we'll be able to see how they're getting on. Even from here, almost, we could. Right, it's going to be loud in a moment here. I'm going to go into third person. Love that. The flapping flaps. The wind looks so good. Right, how are we getting on here, mustard man? Mustard helper? Looks like you're doing a good job. But we'll let you crack on with it. Now... I think, okay, so we won't go up this way. That's quite the incline. But I think there's a sneak entrance just up ahead here that I will take advantage of instead of going all the way up. All the way up and around? Yes, right here. Hello, train. Very nice timing indeed. Right, this is perfect. So I think we'll go this way and then round. So let's just get lined up here. 
So we'll turn off the beacons. We'll get the mowers all unfolded. Oh, please don't hit that tree. Nice. I'm going to try and stick to just the uh, the grass itself, the ma the nice grass. Okay, it's not going to always work out that way. Not widespreading, but rather we want to change that to. Hang on, maybe this has to be off for us to do anything. I want it to be swath dropping. Beautiful. Now left swath. Where does it put it? Does it put it out that side? Okay, I just want to see this very quickly. So, middle swath puts it... Okay, that's right swath. The middle puts it... Oh, okay, out there. So, if it goes on the left swath, does that mean that it goes just that side? Oh, it might just be just the whole thing. Yeah, no, we'll go, cent we'll go center swath. It makes most sense. Swath dropping, yeah. The reason I kind of wanted to, to look at if it does something different was, well, just to see if it would be easier to do. But I think, yeah, it's better to just have it straight in the middle, because then we can bring the loading wagon straight in, no faffing about. Look at that swath, though. Wow. We're going to get so much silage. I'm very pleased I got the, uh, the Pottinger Jumbo for our loading wagon, because it is going to be... It will need Jumbo. Absolutely. I am seeing now that we have a finished, uh, the work has been finished from the weeder, so we'll check on that shortly, but I am going to get this done first. Let's just get to the top here and see just how big this field really is. Ooh, that's, this will be a good test. Can it make it up the hill? It can. It's going to be a bit slow, but it can. Imagine a harvester going up here. I don't think anything but grass will do for this field. Unless it's alfalfa or clover. That's the only time I can see possibly redrilling this. Just to switch it up, really. Oh yes. Beautiful. What an incredible swath that is. Very thick swath. Just the views we have are stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Now, another thing about this field is that we do have loads of trees here. Now, uh, there is a thing there though, this thing here. I wonder if that's something that can be removed. Actually, hang on a minute, I just want to... Ah, oh, oh, oh. uh, yes, very good. I was kind of hoping we could uh, maybe find a cheeky collectible here, or just look out the window, but no. So I wonder if that can be removed. Maybe that's a GE removing thing. Because if we could, then we've got a whole space here that we could possibly convert into... Uh, oh, it's very hilly, though. Mm, maybe we'll do a bit of uh, cheeky logging here and see if that's what we're feeling. That could be a very interesting thing to do. But time will tell. Right. Let's just get round. This this corner is a bit deceiving as well. It goes round and then down and then over. But my my. What a headland we have here. Now what a swath. I keep saying, but it's only because it's true. Wow. Look at that. What a view. What a gorgeous view. You know what? Hang on, this is a perfect opportunity for something as well. I normally do this kind of thing uh, when I'm off camera, of course, when I'm not recording. But I think I want to get a bit of a screenshot in here. It's just such a nice... Oh, the train was coming. That would have been beautiful. Yeah, let's get a nice view there. Not too much of background to take away from it, but that is something gorgeous. Oh, actually, that is quite nice. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the ground here and into here. Close the door. Responsible driving. And let's crack on.
Right, here we are, ending the mowing, and what a mowing session it has been. I think I've got most of it, if not all of the grassy bits that I missed. We can just have a quick look at the map here, of course. And see, oh, we're very zoomed in. Right, so let's look at grass. Nice, maybe a small bit there, really nothing worth fretting about. So yes, we will get that, uh, both of them lowered, both of them off, and that is brilliant. So we can get them folded as well. What a nice bit of kit that is. What an absolute monster. Oh, hang on just a minute. Now, I still don't know exactly how I'm going to classify these. As I said, possibly some sort of uh, German government grant for farming. But I've just happened to see something here at the local pub. I think it's a bit of a pub. Uh, I'm just going to hop up here and maybe go for a pint. But before we go for that pint... Ah, this one's... This one I do know. This is Bavaria. Let's see if I'm right. Well, Bayern region, yeah, okay, that's exactly where it is. Beautiful. Just go back down here. Really nice. So, yeah, as far as the collectibles, um, one thing I was also thinking, which would be kind of a neat thing, is that the area, so the area that the map is set in, uh, the little village or whatever, has um, set up a sort of um, contest for the residents. And uh, and they have to find all of these collectibles, and if you do, the uh, the local government or whatever will send you a, a bit of a reward. I don't know if that's too cheeky, a cheeky way to get collectibles or not, but I think it can work. If not, then it's sort of a grant at least, but since they are £10,000 and there are only 16 of them, I fully intend on collecting them all. And they just look amazing. They are a really nice uh, thing to... Uh, to collect. Okay, before we head back to the farm and start loading, let's get this checked out and see how they've done. I suppose we can just leave that there. We didn't have to enter the field or anything, but they've done all right. Yeah, not too bad. I think we'll just hop in and finish the job because they have obviously missed a very small bit, so nothing too concerning. Oops. But either way, let's get it unfolded and just see where... Oh, I can see right there. Yes, a very small strip. We'll just lower it down and start the weeding process. Well, finish the weeding process at least. This is rapid. 24 kph. Yeah, that's no... No weed can withstand that madness. Absolutely. And we're done. Just like that. Small bit up there, not too fast. Really happy about that. Now, I don't think we have any other fields that require any sort of weeding, do we? I don't think so. This one, but we need to sp we need to spray it. There's no way. Absolutely no way. And the grass doesn't uh, grow weeds in, so that's really good as well. Uh, so I think we could probably just leave this here on the side of the field and come back for it later. So we'll just shut the engine off on that. And hop back into our tractor here. Right, so what we'll do is we'll head back up to the farm, I'll put the mowers away, and we'll connect to our Pottinger Jumbo Loading Wagon. Wow, okay, this thing is immense. Right, well, let's get it hooked up at least. Now, uh, right, I've just forgotten about something. So this here is for silage additive. Now, we don't have any, which means we have to go to the shop and buy some before we can get this process underway. So, I'm just going to pull it out. Yeah, it does say there, silage additive. So, let's just look at it though. Oh, wow. I hope it's not too big. I hope it's not too big for our, for this tractor. I guess we'll find out. Here, I'm just going to line it up a bit. Ooh, it's going to be very, very telling here soon. This might be very, very bad. I love that cover on there. I had to, I had to pay the, I think it was like five thousand pounds for it. Oh, let's get the uh, engine shut off here. Yeah, I think it was about five thousand pounds for the, um, for the uh, cover there. 
but it worth it because it looks so good. I I do hope this works. I'm a bit concerned now that it might be a bit uh, a bit small. Yikes. Okay. Well, at least we can uh, here. Let's get this detached. Oh no, it was already was. Brilliant. Uh, we are going to head to the shop. Luckily, we can put the uh, pallet in the back there, so we don't have to worry too much about bringing the trailer. If we don't have to bring the trailer, I really don't like to have to, but. Anyways, let's pop off to the shop here, and uh, we'll see you when we get down there. Alright, let's get the back doors open here. Brilliant. And we'll find the shop menu. Anything in the sales? Oh, oh, that's cute. Cute little loading wagon. Very cute. It holds about three times as much, or three times less than the one we have. Amazing. Right, where are we going? Pallets, and I believe it's in here. Blimey, it's so expensive. So is animal, uh, mineral feed. Right, we are going to need some uh, DEF as well. Might even get the full exo- Oh, well, we could place- Oh, there's so many things. Okay, we'll focus, focus. Let's get this done first. <laughs> yes, there are so, so many things that we can- um, that we can do. Uh, the DEF fluid, I'm not too worried about it yet because it does go quite slow, not nearly as quickly as... Um, right, where are we here? There's the tines. Uh, not nearly as quickly as fuel and we do have the fuel consumption set to high because I wanted to get the most out of it. Again, for realism sake and all. It's probably best that it's not right on the, uh, go Let's reverse this way. Let's get that added in. Right, what's happening here? Is it in? Oh, right, okay. Oh, brilliant. Okay, that was way less. I thought it was not working, but it's working beautifully well. So we'll get parked up here in our usual spot. Nice and tucked away. Engine off. Let's get these doors shut. And we'll get this strapped. And we'll head back into the van. And we're all set. Beautiful. See you back at the farm. Alright, here we are. Back at the farm now. We are going to... Oh, can't really see out that mirror. Are we going to hit the... Oh, no, that's perfect. That should be perfect about there, actually. Yes, we want to get very close so that we can load it directly in from the back here of the van, ideally. That should be close enough. Get that get it unstrapped and hopefully we can fill it up so we'll fire up the engine and get it loaded in brilliant be good to sort of role play that going in pouring it in nice all done uh, right we'll uh, we'll just leave that there for now uh, we should shut the engine down at least but we'll just leave that open so that we can easily access it when we need it. Uh, in the meantime, we'll get back in here, get that closed. Okay, so it used about... Oh, how much was in there? 60 litres, so it's used a small amount. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll see. I think it probably goes quite far, I reckon. Hopefully that's the case. I guess we'll find out shortly here, but we are going to make our way to our massive field. It's definitely our biggest field. So I think keeping it as something we can mow. I mean, it would be really nice. I'd like to look into planting in lavender as well. Uh, even if we can't use it for anything animal-wise. Even if we can just make lavender bales. They might sell for a good price. I suppose we should look at all that as well. I haven't looked at any of the selling prices of the, uh, of the edited in crops. So we'll have to look at that. But first things first... Let's get this sorted. So we are going to enter from here. If 
it was a really massive bump, then I wouldn't. But this still does seem quite acceptable. Okay, let's get everything uh, lowered down and fired up. I don't think there is any what well, we do have access. There we go. We are loading in our grass. Let's get a bit of a third person view. Blimey, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Right, now I'm curious to see about the opening of this thing. Does it, should this be opened now, do you reckon? I'm going to try and see about opening the cover. There we go. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's probably what it's meant to be. Meant to do that. Good. We'll keep it open and we'll keep on going. Now, I am going to do most of this in first person. Look at this angle. Could, could everything just fall over? I feel like if... It's just a terrifying potential that the whole lot just falls over. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go too quickly around these corners, especially downhill. We'll see how well this performs going uphill. Oh my goodness. Slower than the mower. But it hasn't stopped. I wonder if a front weight would have been something we need. We haven't really lost turning capability, so it's not like it's too heavy. For the fence, it's just the fence does require. Oh, sorry, the the, the loading wagon does require quite a bit. Oh, we're slipping. Yeah, maybe we should get weight on. Ah, oh, bugger. Let's see how we're doing from out here. Oh, we're slipping so badly. Oh, we might have to take the rest of this on. Uh, going downhill. I mean, we can do it, it's just very... Oh, no, we've stopped. Okay, whoa, nope. Okay, let's just shut that off and try and get up now. Oh, we are proper stuck now. Oh, have I made a grave mistake? Oh, no. I can't even go... Come on. This is not on at all. Have I made a huge mistake here? Oh no. Well, let's try and get up the hill without any sort of... Oh no, I think we're completely... Oh no. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go and get the weight and then see if that makes any sort of difference. Oh, I, I think I'm fully stuck now. Oh, I got out. Whoops. Right, let's uh, detach all of this. Hopefully that doesn't roll down into the road. Ooh, this is very troubling. The, the problem is, uh, is that this loading wagon was, for, for what it was, was a really, really uh, great price. Oh, that's a bit of a divot there. As long as we go slow, we're fine. Okay, there we go. Ooh, all right. Well, we have to think about this. What is our plan? I'm gonna, okay, I'll go back to the farm, get the weight, and we'll see how it performs. Right, so here we are. As you can see, we're going this way because I literally could not go up the hill even with the weight. Now, I think I've just made a very uh, grave mistake in opting for this loading wagon versus a smaller one, perhaps. I mean, this is less of a deep incline, so I'm going to try it. Let's let's give it a go. Let's lower it down. Let's fire it up. Oh, I love this loading wagon, though. So it's so frustrating. So I'm not going to buy a new tractor just for a piece of kit. But that does mean we'd have to down, essentially downgrade the loading wagon. Right. I mean, okay, so here's the, the, the stats of everything. The Fent is 260 horsepower, which is plentiful, but the loading wagon requires, just to power it, requires 250 horsepower. That is something that I did take into consideration, to be honest, but clearly not enough to for it to not be a problem. Now we just take, oh, it's going to slow right down, it's going to stop. Come on, don't stop, don't stop, make it up the hill. Oh, you've stopped. 
No, you haven't. Oh my goodness, we've got so much grass in there as well. Come on. Okay, alright, okay. It, you know what? If it's... Look, but this is our main grass field. We can't be doing this every time. We can't struggle like this every single time. I can't even upgrade the uh, the vent anymore, really. I reckon it'll pull the trailer fine with the 40-some thousand litres. What's happening here now? I think we're slipping a bit. Come on, just get up this bit of hill. How are we doing? It's just a little bit of an incline here now. So, yes, we've, we've got two options, essentially. One is to get a smaller loading wagon, which might end up having to be the way we do it. Or we just keep this one and deal with it as we're doing. Uh, for the time being. Here's another thing to consider as well, is that the other ones that I'm looking at are very expensive. Especially in comparison to this absolute beast of a loading wagon. Okay, there we go. We've filled up 40... <laughs> wow, 47,000 litres. Just over. 47,300. That is impressive. That is very, very full. Right, how are we going to get down this hill? That's be very scary. We have to go very slowly. Slowly. Fully on the brake. Fully on the brake. Get the beacon on. Oh, there we go. We've made it. Okay. So, I mean, as far as pulling it as well, it seems to pull it quite fine. Uh, it's just a bit underpowered for this machine. So, what I think we will do, I'll be completely honest, I think for now I'm going to carry on with it. I'm going to keep it. Oh my god. I don't think we can empty out the silage additive, which I'm sure is fine. We can talk to the shop and they can add in the amount that we lost or whatever. Add in, the sorry, the amount that we have remaining into the new one. But, um, so I'm not worried about losing that, even though it was very expensive. Um, I'm mostly worried about the, just the flow of this because, yeah, if we're doing 3 kph up a hill, but a lot of it is side to side, so I think we'll be fine for this first round. We'll really just have to wait and see. Um, I w I'm not even going to look at the other ones just yet. I'd like to, at the very least, get this done. So I think now is a probably a good time to break off into a time lapse, although it will probably be a bit of a funny one. And I really couldn't say how long this is actually going to take, because right now just going up this hill is somewhat problematic. And uh, it's a full, full lot. We, we do have the hoses in, do we not? Yes, we do. Yes, that is somewhat problematic. I'm just deciding now, I'm trying to decide if we should end up selling. Hey, you know what? Let's have a very quick look then at them because it's very part. Anything in the sale? Or well, now, see, I shouldn't have laughed at that one. Bloody hell. Oh, we're moving now. Right, well, I'll just find them to show you anyways. Oh, we're swerving. Right, let me just get this load unloaded and then we can look at uh, loading wagons. We're nearly there anyways now. It is good to get a full, like a proper test as well to see, but I think we're still... Yes, it's very, very full and uh, I would love this to work, but I might have overextended myself on this one. Wow, this will be extremely difficult to do in, in first person. Okay, there's the one side. Where's the other side? Oh, wow, we were very close. Is that the, the back there? Let's see how close we were without hitting it. Nice, pretty close, but I do want to see the unload as well, because I'm sure it will look pretty good. So let's get it... Okay, that's what I thought, yes. Unload. So we'll try and get a nice... As soon as it starts, there we go. Get a nice, clean... 
row of grass in. Let's try not to go too close to the front. Try and level it as we go here. One liter in. Where's that one liter from? Okay, hang on. Let's try and dump it here instead. I mean, I suppose that's fine uh, that it's there. I mean, it's not... Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's not like it has to be emptied or whatever for it to have another thing in. And we wouldn't be putting anything else into it except for... Um, except for grass anyways, so yeah. Okay, well, you know what then? I think... Uh, it's just a tough decision because the other ones are quite a bit more expensive. So I think we're just saving ourselves a big headache of financially uh, by by keeping this one. Also... It, it's so good. 47,000 litres of grass at one time. Yes. Well, I wonder if we can get up the hill without... with... with nothing in. Really? Not even then? Oh, that's so upsetting. Yeah, that's really too bad. Okay, well, I might as well line up here. Before we do crack on, I will just show you what I'm on about, just so I can also have a refresher for myself, just to see kind of where we're at with options. So, here, yeah, we'll just probably start in first person as well. So, forage wagons, we have all the base ones. I mean, this one alone, it's not even the same, and it's already more expensive. So, this one we have, the Jumbo 8450. It's be beautiful machine. Uh, but 250 horsepower, so it does require a lot. We did, um, well, it's a hundred some thousand once you add all the things in, but ours is worth a bit more as well because I did fit it with extra features. But it says 84. Oh, I've lost so many of those features. I'm sure we'll get about a hundred some thousand for it at the shop, but come on. Anyways, these are the other options. So they're not they're not terrible. If anything, they're really quite beautiful, the Krona ones. So the problem is is that they're they're more expensive. So this one holds 33, the biggest one holds 40. That's a lot of money, 146,000. So for 113, can we get something that's more than 30 or the same as 30? 113. So this one was 35. So that might even be the better option. The class one is quite nice. 220, that would be a push, I think, as well, for 44. That one's definitely a push. That's pretty much what we have now, but a bit bigger. And that one's massive. So, so th okay, well, 35, how heavy is that? 12.5, these are, so the one I would probably go for would be Honestly, probably this one, 33, and it's 9.9, .9, but this one is how much? 8.8, .8, so it's lighter as well. This might be the one we go for, actually. So it's a f unfortunate that we... Why didn't I get this the first place? This is actually a better deal. Hmm, I think we'd just be able to, to deal with it. Well, okay, I think I'll give it another go. We'll see how well this goes or doesn't go. And, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll break off into a time lapse, but if I decide that it's been rubbish, then I might do a bit of uh, shifting down towards the shop, and uh, we might just have to buy a new one. But for now, let's crack on.
Well, there we have it. That is the start of our uh, silage making process, really. I, we are going to be leaving it here for now, though. Um, the reason is because there's just there isn't even that much left to do at the uh, at the field there. But I have decided that yeah, I this is a good opportunity to kind of take it easy on this now to really analyze what we've done. So we've made nearly 200,000 liters here of chaff, which is impressive, and we're not quite done. As I say, we probably have at least one or two more loads. So I wanted to save that for the uh, next episode, I think. So what I've done in that time lapse was add in the wheel weights. Now, I don't know if that's how... It did feel like it helped a little bit because we didn't stop anywhere. Uh, it still went very slow up the hill and all that. Um, so, yeah, I think we will see this one out with this loading wagon. Whether we sell it after or not remains to be seen. But I've, uh, I've got a few things thoughts of things we can do so one is keep it and just keep it as is and eventually upgrade to a bigger tractor in the future not necessarily replacing the fence but just something bigger if we but the thing is i don't think we need to it's just this kit that's very big the second option is so one is keep two is to get a new loading wagon that is maybe worth about the same i know we spent five thousand 5,000 euros on the uh, wheel weights, but I think it would be uh, a much bigger expense. But I think maybe we'll pay an extra, maybe five to ten, ten thousand, to uh, get a new loading wagon, which will be unfortunately a bit of a downgrade. But we still, yeah, we still have to uh, pay for it. Uh, the third option, which I didn't think of till I was in this last session, was we have a forage harvester. So this beautiful Jag 830 can in fact uh, forage grass as well. So I'll just look at combinations very quickly. We do have this for it, but we could get this. Now this is a pickup that will allow us to actually pick up the grass, clover, alfalfa, all of that, which is very cool. Uh, this we can do... Ah, there I'm seeing green rye. Maybe we should have done green rye. Hmm. Well, maybe the next opportunity to make silage will be using green rye, because it does grow very, very quickly. So, yeah, we'll probably do that another time. Um, but yes. Oh, is that... No, that's not buckwheat there, is it? No, no, no. Okay, I thought for a second it was, but no. This is an option, and really not a bad one, but here's what will be very telling. We also have a grain trailer. We have this one here. It holds 18,000 litres, which is not nearly it's it's less than half of what that loading wagon offers however there must be a silage uh, option for it but we do have many trailers as well which offer silage options it would be good to get one without the uh, dolly axle so basically this one I think the max you can go is 22 and that would be I think for all crops but silage uh, silage as well so if we had one of them, maybe two, uh, that could work out really well. So when we harvest, we'll have a much better idea as to whether or not this tractor can perform up that hill with something still bigger. I mean, it is bringing it up the hill anyways, rambling and grumbling on as I tend to do. But that does do it for the end of this episode. And with that, also the end of Deutschland week round two. So I do hope you're enjoying Deutschland. As I say, this is my um, official Deutschland series. The first one to five that were last week are a first look mini series that I did just to clarify that. Um, and I'm very pleased that I did because I got I did get the the early access from Edo Mod again. Massive thank you to Edo Mod, not just for the early access, but for the map in general. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning map. Really pleased about the play style I've opted for. It fits this map beautifully. However, we've run into our first challenge: what to do with the loading wagon. So there's the three options: keep it, uh, sell it, get a new one, or just use our forage harvester instead so that way we wouldn't have to buy a new one and we'd be up about hundred thousand maybe ninety thousand euros so yeah 
options galore. Now I may possibly record Deutschland 6 before this one has published, just if time permits. Uh, so I may not get your answer straight away, but I am going to use this for the rest of this har harvest and, uh, and we'll go from there the next time. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you're enjoying the series as well. If you are enjoying it, a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel. And if you're new to the channel and new to my videos, please do subscribe. So, once again, thank you for watching and until the next one, please do take care and bye for now.